go. Hello, guys. Welcome back, or welcome to East European Comic Con 2016. Yeah. So this is our second guest, and I hope you're all really excited because he's awesome. And please, yeah, exactly, he is, yeah. So help me welcome Mr. Mark Pellegrino. Hello. So good to see you guys. Are we sitting on these? Whatever you want to sit. Really? Are we, do, are we obligated to sit or can I, can I stand? Can, can I do whatever you want. walk around? It's my wife. Um, all right, maybe we'll start sitting and then yes, evolve. Yes, that's a good idea. Are you guys into evolving? Does everybody understand English okay? You guys are awesome. Yeah. Okay, so guys, you know the rules. If you have a question, just like line up in front of the mic. Yes, exactly. That's the spirit. Thank you. But we're you. not taking questions about supernatural. Ooh. Is that weird? I okay. thought we'd just take it in an entirely different direction today. So you heard him. Uh, and please, no spoilers about like anything else. Well, by the way, I just found something out. This, this may mark me as a highly uneducated human being. But Romania is a Latin-based language. Yes. And, and you can understand Italian if you speak Romanian. Well, yes and no. Mm. Mm. Si. <laughs> si. Arrivederci. <laughs> okay, so we have questions. We have questions. I'll try. Let's I, go. I, I warn you in advance, I, I tend to take my time with everybody who asks questions. Um, but I'm, I'm wondering if I should rush things along so that everybody gets a chance to ask a question, or should I take my time? It's up to you. Yes, take take your time. Just right, guys. Yeah. Is there a way for the for questioners to come up here? Can you? Come on up. If you can get up here without injuring yourself. Please come this way. Walk out the stairs. Oh wow, there's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Where did she go? <laughs> Actually, you get taken behind there and your soul gets sucked out of you. Well, she made it. Also, can the next person get ready there so that we don't waste time? Well, you have to sit, you have to sit over here, yeah. But um, I don't know if we're going to be able to do this again because it, it, it took so long to go from, from here, to, here to there. So, here. Okay, hi. So, if we're really not going to talk supernatural, I do have a question about the Tomorrow People. <laughs> and we've all seen, like, uh, we've all sort of speculated on what the driving force behind Jedekiah's action actually was. What is your point of view? Like, was it all about the power? Did he have a soft spot? Because obviously for his family and just truly, like, to his core, what was his biggest motivation in doing what he does? What do you think his motivation was? I did see that coming. <sighs> Man, I don't know, because... Your roles are always so interesting, like even with Lucifer. Like I want to say just a mixture of both, but I sort of do understand like that need to, that uh, this is gonna sound bad, like but to say like I understand that need for power. <laughs> but ultimately I think, yeah. I, I think that was too much information. <laughs> Go ahead. You really put me on the spot here, so. I put you on the spot. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, I think Jedekiah's motivations were pure and impure at the same time. I think he loved his brother and was jealous of his brother. And he, he really thought that the new evolution of this 
other species of being was a threat to humanity. So he was, he was sort of a torn guy, right, with both noble and ignoble motivations. Yeah, thank you so much. Like, if you're really not going to talk about supernatural... I'm joking. I was joking about that. That was not real. Like everyone ultimately wants to know something about supernatural because... What do you want to know about supernatural? Um, oh, about Lucifer and just sort of referring back to season 5 Lucifer. What do you think is it about the character or was it about the character that resonated so much with so many people in the fandom? I think, I think everybody could relate to the fact that Nick was in pain and he had been abandoned by God and left alone um, and had done nothing to deserve it. And I think we can all kind of relate to <laughs> like having bad, a series of bad days and perhaps years of bad days and no relief in sight and, and keeping the faith and get, not getting rewarded for it. So I think a lot of people look at the world around them and see all the horror and the terrible things that are happening and, and wonder where God is and resonate with what they say in Supernatural. He's, he's on a holiday. He t he's, he's gone. He's, he's nowhere to be found. So I think people resonated with that sense that Nick and Lucifer wanted justice for some pretty crappy things that happened to them. What do you guys think? Do you like that one? Mm, so, some people are skeptical. He's skeptical, I can tell. Did we answer? Yeah, that was awesome. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Go ahead, ask the... I think we have to go from there, yeah, because it's such a long, long journey. Yeah, right? I could, right? Oh, well, we're, al we're already... Hi. Um, so I had a couple of questions. I don't know which one to ask now that I can give spoilers away. <laughs> um, I wanted to ask, so Lucifer is very into music. I mean, post apocalyptic Lucifer. <laughs> And I was wondering if you, if Lucifer... Wait a minute, what? Post-apocalyptic uh, Lucifer is very into music? I mean, yeah, you dance, you sing, you... <laughs> um, I, think, I think he's in, as into music as anybody else, yeah. Yeah, but we see him, like, really coming to himself after the apocalypse because before he was very into destroying the world and then he was just into making fun of Jared and uh, Samandine actually. Well, if you can't beat him, make fun of him, right? Okay. Um, I was just wondering if Lucifer had like his own show, um, say, I don't know, helping cops beat crime in LA. <laughs> um, what, was he, what would the theme song be for the show? <laughs> Because I was thinking somewhere between Bob Seger's Lucifer or The Cure's Hot, Hot, Hot. <laughs> oh, you've really given this a, quite a bit of thought. That's very good. Um, I was thinking something more like between The Brady Bunch and The Courtship of Eddie's Father. And nobody knows what that is. <laughs> 70s TV shows in America, folks. Um, but do you know those? You don't know those theme songs? No, no, no. No? Wow. Well, we're going to have to do something about that before the end of the day. Um, okay. Did that, did that answer? I'll uh, research it on YouTube. And <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, dear. All right. Thanks. Although I think Lucifer as a, as a man is a uh, classic rock guy. Oh, wow, okay, yeah, come on up. You've, you've, how are you? Nice shirt. Trust Lucifer. Yes, that's very good, trust Lucifer. Trust, <laughs> trust the devil. Go ahead. Two questions. Uh, first one is about the return Yes. Why it was canceled? I didn't understand the... It was canceled because it sucked. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I actually liked the show. It was amazing, yeah. Oh, uh, thank you. I had nothing to do with the fact that it was amazing, but... Uh, of course it had. That's why I watched it. 
Aw, you're so sweet. Um, <laughs> I don't know why it got canceled. I, I really think that the show started, I think the show lost a little bit of audience in the first couple of episodes because it was a remake of the French um, version and it brought some of the f f French sort of uh, aura to it without you know, and it didn't quite translate, I think, over in America. Um, but as the show progressed, it started to take on its own identity and I think got better. And I don't think it was enough time, though, to, to pick up the audience numbers enough for the network to get behind it. So that's, I think, the technical reason why the return got canceled. I just think he should have given it one more shot. That was sucks that yeah. it was canceled. What's your uh, second question? It's about um, Spanish word. Please tell me that you're not dead. <laughs> can, Luc can Lucifer even die? I don't know, but I didn't like the last episode, uh, the pre last episode. Well, <clears throat> I guess archangels can die, right? Gabriel died. He's not dead. Okay. You can't say that. You can't say Gabriel's that. dead. No, he's not. <laughs> it's not. He's dead as a doornail. Neither do you. You're not dead. No, I'm not dead, but Gabriel's dead. <laughs> no, stop saying that. I loved Gabriel. Well, so did I. I just loved him a little too much. <laughs> well, how can... Wait a minute. I thought you said you, you loved Lucifer. Yes, I loved Lucifer. Okay, then Gabriel tried to kill Lucifer. <laughs> no, he... Gabriel got his ass kicked for trying to kill Lucifer. <laughs> What's the moral to the story? Don't fuck with Lucifer. You're wrong. Okay, I guess I am. Of course you are. Um, <clears throat> I believe you, yeah, but Gabriel is is dead. Um, <clears throat> but I don't I don't know. Uh, you saw the finale. No. You want me to tell you what happens? Because somebody no. told me. Who wants to know what happens in the finale? Who doesn't want to know what happens in the finale and wants to find out on their own? It's sort of even. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the real Lucifer. <laughs> wow. How many of you guys have seen I Am Legend with Will Smith? Does anybody mind if I give a spoiler here for a second? Yes. Come on, man. Yes, I'm not... Look, here's the shade going down. Because you like Gabriel. I'm locking you out. Okay, I know. I'm just messing with you. Um, anyway, <clears throat> we went to see I Am Legend. <laughs> I was really looking forward to this movie, too. Because I'm a bit of a horror movie buff. And... No, the, the, the one that they showed in the cinema. I didn't like that second ending, man. That was a lame-ass second ending. You guys know what I'm saying. Some of you do. Uh, so we sat down. I'm looking forward to seeing the movie. The lights dim down, and some jerk-off who's walking out of, the, out of the theater goes, He dies at the end! And I was like, what the... And he did. Um, did, did I answer your questions for you? Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Well, you guys have figured out the system really well. You got them coming, uh, coming here beforehand. Come on up. Is this method okay for you guys, sitting down on stage? Okay. So, I have a question. Okay, thank you. I have a question about your passion. Uh, the zombies. Yes. Who else likes zombies here? Like you like, like, or you know? Like, like. Okay. So, uh, what would you do if uh, a zombie apocalypse will come here, now? I'll get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> You, please, please take me with you. What would you do? 
I will try to survive and how would you do that be strong for my family for my friends and that means your zombie bait is what you're saying yeah I don't I, I think in a zombie apocalypse it's every man for himself right sometimes depends I love my family my friends so I'll do anything when you're on the dinner menu maybe you love your family a little bit less no no <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to get you to say stuff like that um, okay and uh, what would be your weapon of preference hmm. difficult my mind you cannot beat a zombie apocalypse with your mind yeah but I can do stuff like uh, I don't know like oh, this is true I see what you're saying your watch I can do stuff or your I don't know what can you do what what can you do with my watch you I want you to use your your analytical ability to take this watch and kill a zombie <laughs> yeah can I take it okay yes I want a demonstration okay. good, good. Uh, so you are a zombie now or okay, I'm a zombie. <laughs> Wait, don't really hurt me though. Hold on, hold on. Stay there. I just ate your brain. Yeah, I did. So you couldn't re so you're hitting me with the brass knuckle thing but you couldn't reach me cuz you're short and I'm tall. Your weapon didn't work, I'm just saying. Okay, so everybody who comes up they're very good. That was a that was a very good good uh, shot at taking out the zombies in the zombie apocalypse. Thank you. So maybe every person who comes up here has to tell me their weapon of preference in the event of a zombie apocalypse, which could happen. Um, oh, are we just staying here? There's nobody coming up here? You? No? I guess you have to ask a question from there. First of all, state your weapon of preference. A sniper rifle. Huh? A sniper rifle. Sniper um, rifle. Not good for close encounters, though. And you run, out of, you run out of ammunition. Except if I hit the zombie with it. Like, What's that? I, I hit the zombie with it and run. Oh, with the stock of the weapon like that. So it's, okay. Copy that. Well, I have a good question. What's the best prank you took part in? What's the what? The best prank. Best prank? Yeah. I know you, uh, you and your colleagues prank each other on set, so what's oh, the Oh, no, they don't prank me. <laughs> they don't? <laughs> they don't prank me. Are they afraid? They're afraid of me. That's good. What's that? That's you, you think, do you think I'm kidding? No. <laughs> I think that's why they don't prank me. <laughs> Although I'll tell you a story. <laughs> um, I don't know why I'm laughing. It's, um, in the, there's a scene where uh, I'm with the boys and uh, I forget what I'm doing in it, but I, I, I tell them that that hell is cold instead of hot and I blow on the window and I make the the trident symbol right yeah just before I they yelled action so we're in the scene cameras are rolling Jared farted <laughs> and I had to do that entire scene in a fart cloud <laughs> that, that never went away the entire rest of the day that's as close as Jared's ever come to pranking me. <laughs> Tracy's like, Argh. that's all I got. Thank you. Thank you. True story. Jared is sort of legendary for his gas. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Not bad. Uh, First of all, I love your shirt. I saw it at the photo. Oh, you do? Yeah, it's great. I love it. Awesome, thank you. Uh, second of all, thanks for recommending Ayn Rand's books. 
Oh, good. Uh, I read The Virtue of Selfishness and I'm now at Atlas Shrugged. And I've never read anything like it before and it's great. Awesome. Um, so I wanted to ask, there's kind of a quote in the books saying that um, the most deprived kind of man is the one who doesn't have a purpose. So I was wondering, I don't know, I'm 17. I don't really know what I want to do with my life. So how did you know that you want to get into politics and acting? Uh, about five years ago. <laughs> Serious. I got into acting by accident. And uh, I studied hard, and you know, because it's a craft, and you have to really work hard at it. And, and I liked working hard at it. But I never took the medium of film very seriously. But my wife introduced me to film and how important it is. Um, I, I never took actors very seriously, because if you listen to them talk 90% of the time, they shouldn't be taken very seriously. You and should. It, in the real world, what's that? You should. You're smart. I watched some interviews, like the one you tweeted yesterday. It's great. Oh, thank you. Um, well, I'm actually more interested in that stuff than I am in, in acting. But, but uh, yeah, I fell in love with acting, I think, about five, five or six years ago and, uh, and realized that it is a medium that you can use to change the world or participate in changing the world. And so since then, you know, we're, we're trying to do that in our own way. So as, a, as an aspiring artist, if that's what you, if you want to go that No, I route. was just wondering, how did you know that's what you wanted to do in, with your life? I'm not very good at anything else. <laughs> I doubt that. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I, some people know immediately what they want to do. My stepson knew he wanted to be a writer from the time he was, what, five? Two? He's, okay, that's crazy. But he, he knew that. And you know, some people don't discover their path in life until they're 50, 60, 70, if you're fortunate enough to, to live that long. So have patience, you know, you'll find something. You'll, you'll, you'll collide with something at some point in your life that you, you can't live without. Right? I don't think I can live without acting, to be honest with you. Um, so have patience. You're young. God, you got so much time. You don't have to figure it all out right now. Thank you. Yeah, keep reading. I will. Yeah, man. Thank you. Wait, what was your weapon of preference? Did she have one? I guess a gun. A gun? Yeah. I've always wanted to shoot one, so. Oh, okay. If I'm gonna die, at least I'm gonna die being badass. <laughs> okay. Gun. Hello. So, um,. First of all, I wanted to tell you about my uh, ultimate gun against zombies, uh, which is something I use every day. It's called stupidity. Um, it's called stupidity? Yeah. It's something I'm really good at. Um, Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> as well as being awkward as I am right now, <laughs> I'm trying really hard to compose myself as to not um, make a fool of myself as I did last year with Osric because I was too Oh, it's nervous. easy to make a fool of yourself with Osric though. And you should... And you shouldn't worry about that. Yeah, he proved You should make that. a fool of yourself at least three or four times a day. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm actually doing that. This is my third time already. Uh, so try to make a record today if you can. Yeah, I will. <laughs> so um, as of last year, I got Osric to join our Supernatural Romania Facebook fan group. And I wanted to ask you if you want to join us as well. We're trying to get everyone to join so we could, um, like, what, what is put it? you what in the I... cupboard and, like... I mean, I mean, have fun with you guys. Cause we're normal people, you know. <laughs> Don't say that. That was my biggest lie. Wait, what? 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 Is, there's an echo in the hall, so it's a little hard for me to hear. What was the? Did you hear the substance of the question? Can you repeat the question, please? Yes, I've asked you if you would like to join our Supernatural Romania Facebook fan group because I got to join. I got Osric to join as well, and I wanted you to join because. Why not? <laughs> um, maybe. The answer is yes. <laughs> uh, maybe. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe. <laughs> and I'm sorry. Do I, do I find it on Twitter? It's Facebook. Oh, you said Facebook. Yeah. Oh, oh no, Facebook is a special thing. I can't do the Facebook thing. Why? Facebook is only for my family and 
people that are in my immediate circle. But I do have like some, I, I do have a page, I think, maybe more outside that circle. That okay. I'll, I never go on it, but I'll, I'll check on it and okay. see if I can find you. Thank okay. you, dear. And um, I'm sorry that for the past one minute you had to pay attention to me because I was bored. <laughs> it was good. You was, should be, I'm really. That was scared. good. Well done. Give her a, a round of applause. Did you hear that? Good job. Thank you. Hello. Hey. Um, first of all, my weapon of choice is a katana. What? Katana. Uh, Japanese sword. It's a samurai sword. That's pretty good. And uh, second of all, I have two questions for your imagination. Uh, there is a legend about Aradia, daughter of Diana and Lucifer. Wait. Uh, I arrive at my question shortly, I promise. Uh, can you imagine Lucifer from Supernatural being uh, having a daughter with a, a pagan goddess? Yes. I know everything is possible, and uh, probably there is a reason why he hates uh, the pagan god so much. There's a reason why he hates God? No, the pagan gods. Oh, the pagan gods. Probably there is a reason, and prob uh, this reason. And what do you think that reason is? Something happened with Diana, I don't know, or Radia. They, Something. They killed uh, them, and Lucifer probably is mad of them. I don't know. I can't hear a word that, that she says. Is it me? No, I think it's a good idea to, for them to come here. It's probably so a good idea for better. you guys to come here, because yeah. I can't hear anything you're saying. Other than, would Lucifer bang a pagan goddess and have a baby? Yes, he would. Why does he hate the pagan gods? Because they suck. What happened to Lucifer when he was a baby um, and the pagan gods did things to him? Was there something like that? I don't even know how to answer that one. Oh, wait. And again, the we're going person... to have you guys come around because yeah. I can't hear the questions. <clears throat> And I need to hear you guys. Awesome. Now I'll be able to hear you. Fantastic. Okay, so what would, that's okay. What was, what was the other question? Um, oh, my other question, if uh, someone asked you to participate in a dance competition, can you see yourself in a dance competition? Oh yeah, sure. Lovely. They're just yes-no questions. I never get yes-no questions. Huh? I need music. I need music, though. Cue music. Well, if the music comes up at some point during any of our questioning, we'll just break into dance, all of us together. How's that? Did, did, we answer the, did I answer the questions? Okay, thank you, dear. Bye. So yes, Lucifer would uh, enter a dance contest. He would have a baby out of wedlock with a pagan goddess. And something bad happened to him at the hands of the pagan gods when he was a young'un. Just to sum up, come on up. Come on. Hi. We should probably just sit in a big circle in the room <laughs> and just have a powwow. Go ahead. Hi, hey. again. Hello. Um, so my question is related to you as an actor. Was there ever a role you refused and then you had a moment of regret? I'm having a moment of regret right now. <laughs> That's, that's what this expression is. Um, I, 
can't think of one that I refused and then regretted later on. I can think of some that I've taken and regretted later on. I think that's more the, the rule than the exception uh, for me. Um, so no, I can't think of one that I've refused and regretted. I, I'm doing a, I was doing a TV show called Quantico recently, and I sort of, oh, oh you guys are awesome. Uh, I sort of refused that role, like I told him to kill me. Is that a spoiler? How far, how far along are you guys in it? They kept me on, so they didn't, they, it didn't go that way. But um, yeah, I can't think of any that I, that, I, that I didn't go up for. Although, I'll tell you what, you just made me remember something, and now I'm, now I'm sad. Yeah, did you guys ever see the movie Thelma and Louise? It was between Brad Pitt and me. See, but I never turned that down. I actually went up for that and had a two and a hour, two hour audition with Ridley Scott and, you know, and went through the whole long process and heartache of not getting that part. But I really liked him in that part, so I thought that he did things with it that I wouldn't have done. But I think I would have brought something that he wouldn't have. He's pretty though. What? Just a certain savoir-faire. A certain je ne sais quoi. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Thank you, too. Thank you. Come on up. Where did everybody go? Is that the line way back there? Why are they so far? Hello. Hello, sir. Hi. Hi. Uh, my question is related to. Do those room. hurt? You got the big eyes. Yes, a little bit. Oh. Yeah, inco uncomfortable. But yeah, I've had to wear those before. Yeah, I was actually <laughs> wanted to ask, how is that? Because for me, it took like 30 minutes to put them on. Yeah, yeah. You should take them out after, yeah, I will do because it your this. eyes won't be able to breathe. Um, I will do this after. <laughs> you did it all by yourself, though. You yeah. put those. Yes. And this uh, friend helped me. And uh, and you slashed your throat specifically no, for this occasion. It's actually synthetic, everything. So no, that's good. No, it's actually mine. I can breathe now. So wow, you should be afraid. I am. A, I'm frightened. <laughs> Terribly frightened. Go ahead. My question was if um, so, did Lucifer forgive God or not? No. Okay. That was my impression as well. But I just wanted. to... Did God it. is God now repentant for what He's done? For me, it didn't seem so. <laughs> No. God repented for what he did? No. What? <laughs> no. He, Maybe for the humanity, but not for you, for Lucifer. He said he was sorry to the people. Not for Lucifer. He said he was sorry to Lucifer? No. And so did Lucifer go, a little too late? He okay. did? I'm with you on this one, either way, because I'm under Abathon or just my personal opinion, but I'm with you. He did not apologize. He did not apologize. So it wasn't a good enough apology. It's a little too late. You want to arm wrestle? I'm joking. <laughs> What's that? Are you giving a spoiler? Is this a spoiler? <laughs> oh my God, did you guys eat? Earmuffs. Earmuffs to everybody. I know, but we, you, had, you, you have mic? a good voice. It traveled. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you. Is there, is there any apology that God could make to Lucifer for the horrible things he did? How are you? Uh, I have a question about supernatural. Sorry. Real close. Um, what do you think of the way Misha played Lucifer? Did he ask you any advice? For any advice? I thought it was terrible. <laughs> I thought it was a pale imitation of me. No, I'm joking. Um, um, I've only, I haven't seen that stuff yet because I'm only on season eight. Um, I know I'm a little behind. But I did see one scene of him blowing up somebody on the road, and I thought it was really funny, and I, I liked it a lot, actually. Um, he did come to us. We were in Vancouver. I'd, I'd just finished working on the episode, and my wife was uh, shadowing one of the directors on the show. 
and he came to me and I guess he studied a few episodes before that and, and we talked about how to do certain things, you know, Luciferisms or Markisms. And, uh, and then when he was on the set actually doing them, he was texting my wife, you know, in between takes and she would go, nah, that's not Mark, or no, that's better, that's, you know, kind of directing him in the, in the, in the uh, idea of, uh, of, as, of Lucifer as we've sort of established. So, yeah, he was a very good student, I think, and very, very, um, uh, very hard worker. And I have one more question, can I hug you? Sure. <laughs> Bye. Thanks. Thank you. Come on up. Get over here. Hello. I'm sorry, I'm a boss play. Yes, what is it? Um, okay, I wanted to ask you at first What's about the cosplay? It's Sasuke from Naruto. Okay, I have no <laughs> idea what that is. It's an anime. Oh, okay. I can tell by the hair it's anime. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> um, okay, I want to ask you about uh, if you trained Misha to play Lucifer because, it, it, yeah, you just talked about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll say it again, though. Um, I did. I did train him. You did well. Thank you. Well, it's all him. I mean, he just worked hard and he wanted to bring a flavor of, of, of my Lucifer to his Lucifer, and I thought that was, I thought that was good. I thought that was smart and... and uh, on him, he, it looked like he did too much. On you, it looks well. It's <laughs> natural. <laughs> I'm going to tell him you said that. <laughs> um, well, thank and, you. Okay, I also wanted to ask you, uh, what are, you really are like Lucifer a bit in real life. So what do you think are your similarities with him? Well, here's, here, this, this can present a problem sometimes, playing Lucifer. Because... I find there is a part of Lucifer, Lucifer's personality that's very mischievous, right? Likes to, likes to fuck with people, enjoys, you know, messing with people. And so right around the time that I start playing Lucifer, I unconsciously start prank, playing pranks on people that I love, and it really annoys them. My wife will tell you that as I start getting close to Lucifer, <laughs> I do silly bad things all the time. <laughs> Poor her. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, she knows what it feels like to be Sam in the cage <laughs> in more ways than one. I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have gone there. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you. thank you. You got me really excited. Oh, good, thank you. Cool cosplay. I should cosplay. Who should I cosplay as? What about the Joker? Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Speaking of the Joker, very good. So hold that right up to your mouth so we can actually, hear you. Actually, my question was related somewhat to the Joker. Oh, yeah? And Singh has you've been offered mostly villainous or anti-hero anti parts lately. Would you consider playing a Marvel or a DC supervillain? Oh. As in the Joker or Lex Luthor or even Loki? Oh yeah. But they've got really good actors playing those parts right now that I, I don't think they're going to be moving out anytime soon. But yeah, sure. Of course. That, that would be I fun. Mean, uh, no offense to the last actor who played Lex, Lex Luthor, but you would play even a greater Lex Luthor. Was that Jesse Eisenberg? I like him. I, I, uh, I didn't... I, he was not good? You didn't like him? Um, no, I, I didn't think he was really good at it. And uh, I think a person more of your uh, imposing stature would, uh, would, would make him even greater and seeing as how you play the, the genius in the tomorrow people and that that would make you great for the part in my opinion when i heard genius and tomorrow people together in the same sentence i i the had show, a re i had a reaction was, 
the show was great. It's just like bad it. that it was canceled. Yeah, I mean, I, I wish it could have gone one more season, too. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks for that question. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You guys have any ideas of what uh, Marvel comic book character I could play, just so I could start throwing it out there to casting directors? Huh? The Joker? Yeah, but we're going to see Jared Leto play that. It's going to be interesting, I think. Huh? Who's that? Oh. Reverse cla Flash? That's what they call him, Reverse Flash? But, I mean, that's the worst supervillain name on the planet. Who are you? The Reverse Flash! <laughs> Ah, fuck off. Everyone hates it. Whatever. Yeah, no. I don't know. <laughs> the reverse flash. So does he run backwards really fast? Or how does it... Oh, my God. How are you? That's yours. Hi. Hey. Uh, first of all, I like zombies, so I'm going to say what I want to use for the zombie apocalypse. Yeah. Uh, obviously, arrows, because I can use them again. Yeah. And I have a good target. I've taken classes, so oh, what kind there's of, nobody what, stopping me. What kind of uh, bow do you have? Uh, small ones. I was, a tiny, I was small. I you have, have like comp years. You have compound bows, recurve uh, bows, long recurve. bows. See, I know what I'm doing. Yeah. You notice that? You notice that? And besides, they're silent, so if zombies come, they can hear me shooting at them. That's right. That's a good weapon. But the, you have to go retrieve your arrows, remember. Yeah. And once yeah, you've well, shot into the, uh, the, the zombie horde, that arrow is in the horde now. You've got you yeah. to go get that arrow now. There are more chances to retrieve it than with a gun, because they're not going to be uh, guns forever, but arrows, you can still make them in time. You know? That's true. Also, You could also make a good melee weapon. How come nobody said, besides the sword, the samurai sword, I haven't heard any other melee weapons, like an axe? Nice or a machete, or a knife. That's the weapon of preference, seemingly, in Walking Dead, right? <laughs> Could you do that? No, never mind. We're going <laughs> to... And second of all, most important, Gabriel is not dead. He isn't dead. Look at me, straight in the eye. I can quote, he is not dead, because God said himself that he can remake them, even though it takes a while, he can remake them, so he's not dead. Ooh, you bada, bada, bada. <laughs> I mean, you can kill him again if you God, want You to. know, the more we're talking about this God guy is really pissing me off. <laughs> so, um, but he is dead. He's gone. No, he's not. For now. No. Dead. No. I'm not accepting this. Can I see this for just two seconds? He's dead, 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 dead. He's not coming back. He's not coming back. He's not coming back. He's not coming back. He's gone. He's gone, 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 gone. What can you do? Thanks, Dave. See, I, I, this is... Also, I don't know why people only talk about, I mean, not only Supernatural, but why don't we talk about older things like Dexter? I honestly saw you the first time in Dexter, and I was like, oh my god, how, the, how did the bad guy turn into Lucifer? I mean, I know things go bad, but this bad? Yeah, you, you thought Paul was a real bad guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he was. Yeah, he know. was a really bad guy. That's, you know... <coughs> It's a little embarrassing when people recognize me for Paul in the street because they'll come up to me and they say, Oh my God, you were, you were Paul from Dexter. You were an asshole, man. That's true. And, see, look at that. Well, what do you say to that? I mean, thanks. Yeah, I was an asshole. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but... Everybody can be happy about the fact that you died. Whoa. No, 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 no. <laughs> first of all, first of all, I thought the way I died in Dexter sucked. It was better than Prison Break. Oh, oh did I get shot? And I felt, what happened there? I forget. No, no, you don't even see me die, though, in Dexter. You just hear, oh, he got beaten to death in prison, right? Yeah. That sucks. Prison Break, at least you see it happen. Yeah. Wait a minute. 
be in a super cool show. I'm not saying Dexter, Dexter isn't, but come on, guys. It's, it was cool. I think it, it, I was, think it had its, its good moments, yeah? It did, and I'm sorry it ended, honestly. Really? Yeah. I heard it kind of went south after the fourth or fifth season. Mm -hmm. is, it, is that true? See? You know what I'm talking about. Okay. So, thanks. Thanks. Fist bump. Yes. Well, you got to do this. You got to explode the fist. Bang. Yeah, man. But I always thought it was a good thing if people, like, hate you for your roles, because that means you've done a great job, isn't it? That's true. I guess. It's, it's hard to keep that in perspective when they're calling you an asshole to your face, and they identify you with the part. <laughs> So to you, to them, you are Paul. And even though my, my hair is thankfully different too, they still identify me as Paul. Hey, is that it? Come on up. Is that, are you getting the signal? Yes, exactly. That's me getting hey. the signal. Nice to meet you. Right, so first off, welcome to Romania. I'm, Thank you. I don't know, I'm concerned that no one actually told you this today. So. That's a bit weird. Oh, it's been awesome. People have been uh, welcoming me, and I've been very welcome. This was for as well. Uh, right, just a couple of questions. The first one is about yourself. If you plan on visiting anything while you're here, if if what? If you plan on visiting anything while you are here. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. We're gonna go visit uh, Ram Castle. We're gonna take a tour of Romania on on Monday in a car, and see some really cool things. Yeah, man. We also went to the old town and, and walked around there for a, a few hours and thought that was pretty awesome and visited a couple of churches. Just I love visiting churches. <laughs> you should have seen the lady when we walked into this one Orthodox church. She, she went like, she was, she was like this and she looks up. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Just be careful when you go there because, oh, speaking of, if you're planning on going to a church, just make sure to put this some, somewhere inside there. This is Romanian currency. It's about two and a half dollars. So, oh, you can keep it for yourself. You, Lucifer, you can do whatever the hell you want, literally. Who knew I was going to make some cash up here? And I can see you guys. <laughs> um, and the second one would be regarding Supernatural. Also, we're not sure that Sam dies. He's a Winchester, so cool off. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hasn't Sam died a number of times already? Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's all right, I swear. Do you know that... Okay, I was, I've, I've been reviewing the episodes because we've, we've, we've been watching Supernatural. We're up to season eight. And uh, I did some pretty horrible things to Sam. But the fandom got really mad when I beat the crap out of him in the cage. And I was like, what are you talking? The things I did to him, I tortured him. Tortured him. And then they got mad at me. Some of them hated me and stopped following me, me on Twitter <laughs> because I beat up Sam and Dean in the cage. And they're like, oh no, no. You can do that stuff to him, but you can't hit him. Anyway, this, is what a great act, this is what makes you a great actor, because if you can inspire people to hate you outside of your work. <laughs> you, know, you know Joffrey from Game of Thrones? Yeah. Like, everyone hates him. If I would meet the guy just in front of me, I would shake his hand and say, thank you for making me hate you, because that's why you're so good. Wow. But that's, like a, that's, that's a healthy response. It's, it's, if somebody comes up and like, I fucking hate you, man, because... You fuck. And they start trying to, you know, uh, whatever regarding, that is. Regarding Supernatural, now, the Winchester have a special relationship with Crowley. Do you ever think that Lucifer would have that relationship with them in, at a certain point in time? Like, I hope so. I mean, I think Lucifer has more heart than Crowley. And I think he's more... Oh, he's older. Was that a laugh? Was that a laugh I heard? Crowley has no goddamn heart. I'm sorry. He's all business. He's all negotiation. He's, huh? I'm totally sure about it. He... Uh, really? Uh, 
you look, he's he saved them when it's convenient for him. But I think it's not like it's not like um, it's not like Cass. Cass has a real relationship with them, and it's love. It's love, but not Crowley. So I think Sam, I think Sam and uh, and Lucifer have something down the line that may be very interesting. And hey, uh, Dean has a tight relationship with angels in general. I think maybe he should bring Lucifer into the fold. And I want you to write the producers and tell them that because they will listen to you. Yeah, I think that's going to be our pleasure as well. And speaking of music earlier, I'm you said sorry, something we have that. I'm sorry to wrap uh, this up. I'm so oh. sorry. You, oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah? No? <laughs> well, I think we have to go, but otherwise, right. otherwise so I'd say it yes. It was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. It's great to see you. Thank you very much. Big round of applause for Mark Pellegrino, everybody. Hey, you guys are great. Thank you.